Hello, welcome back. Last time I finally left the tomb behind and entered the realm of the Chaos Master. I'm down in the cavern, whole new place, new challenges. Uh, seems a lot more linear and straightforward than what I had been dealing with. Getting some endgame vibes here, but there are several things that I know about that I have not actually done yet. Including the Zalus quest. And, oh right, there's that guy. Hurled Knife. Vicious Stalker. Let's just go ahead and reload. I wasn't sure where his zone was. Um, there's the little chamber to the east of Antiphos and Julia's room where there was um, something. Which something? Uh, Scepter of Lordly Might and a key. And to the east of the tomb entrance all the way back up in Athenia, there's another chamber similar to it where I could um, probably climb back out here. Okay, so there are two warp demons there next to each other. Um, my boots are already destroyed, so no more boots to destroy. Ouch, I died. Okay. Um, if I wait, will they come to me? Yes. So I can fight one at a time. That's the smart way to do it. All right, where's that other one? I can only see it on occasion and it is next to me. Great. I'm badly wounded, but that's okay. I will survive, I survived, that's air. And now I have some invisibility potions, how nice. Not sure if those will help me with, ooh, I wonder if I should have like charmed those for um, help against the vicious stalker down there. Well, that did something. Let's hunt for pixels now. If it made that noise and didn't visibly change itself, I can assume it changed something somewhere else, but I don't know what that's going to be. This looks not new. Oh, but there's a fire, fire shooter. Okay, and it killed that guy, great. So it's one of those. So if I interact with that again, I expect silence. I got silence, okay. So fire shooter gone. Vicious stalker gone. Uh, I should rest while it seems relatively safe. It's nice not to have to think about like taking a torch out of my hand anymore from that. I think my supplies are fine here. Um, now, I don't know how long I will be here, but I feel like I am adequately provisioned for what I'm doing. I can carry that, good. Uh, just barely. I'm at capacity right now. Alright, so save slot three. What am I seeing? Big empty room. Not so empty. Medusa's here. Ah, he! Uh, my shield was damaged. Several minotaurs. There's a... Who threw that? Somebody threw that knife. Was it you? It was you. I'm stunned. I'm stunned. Okay, so stunned means I move slower. I never really understood that effect, but now I'm getting a grasp on it. So feels like it would behoove me to do this and perhaps sneak up to you. Oh, that's a short one. Let's use another. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Charm, charm, charm. There we go. Snarling Medusa is charmed. Okay, so you'll be a good asset against those minotaurs. Ooh. There's another somebody throwing knives. It's you. Okay, I'd like to charm you too then. Um, or, check it out. I can do better. If I put this in my hand and throw it at you, then your sister over there might figure out that I desire to fight you and will start throwing knives your way, right? Yikes. Uh, I'd also like a minotaur wall if I can get it. Um, oh boy, this is, this is not the best. Probably gonna take a knife when I, oh no, she died, never mind. Neat, okay. I just couldn't see it happen. All right, so now 
uh, some Minotaur, come see me. Hey, what the? I misclicked. Oops. Okay, let's try that again then. Does one of these last longer than the other? You are five turns. You are five turns, so no. Um, how long can I dodge? Not long enough. If I run here... Okay, that's fine. Let's use it. One, two, three, four, five. Charm. There we go. I got away with one potion used. Let's just save that. That was efficient. Okay, now I'd like to... Actually, I'd really like to start fights from a distance whenever I can. It's just safer. Got my other ranged combatant helping me out. So I'll throw at you. Yeah, run. <laughs> Yikes. Um, also run, since that knife's still flying. Uh, also starting a fight with this. My spear was damaged. Don't care. I have... Oh, hey. This gives me knives that I can use to start fights. There we go. She's dead. Herald knife hits grotesque minotaur. Hey, look, a scepter. I will take that so when I can get safely close enough to it. All uh, right, put that in your hand and throw it. Thanks. Thanks. Man, this charm wand, so powerful. <laughs> Problem is I might need to kill her up there. Uh, let's see, that will still have started the fight. You're wounded, another knife kills you, neat. So I hope you don't have anything that I need. I worry that you might. I'll think about that later, though. So hey, Scepter, use. All right, level nine. Audio didn't quite play properly. It tried, but it didn't, didn't manage to. Uh, I can carry much more since I'm a higher level now. Yeah, let's um, sort that meat by usedness. All right, um, there was a first aid kit there. Did anything else important drop? I would like to keep some of those. They are good for some things. This goes in my hand. This comes with me. Knives can stay there. I mean, really, a knife would do just as well for what I'm using. Um, I did take some damage. Uh, can I use different first? Oh, hey, that got my health to good. Now, wait a minute. Perfect first aid kit. Perfect first aid kit. Wait a second. Health restorable, zero. Stamina restorable, not, uh, five. First aid kits are not all equal. Health restorable, one. Stamina restorable, three. Whoa. Ooh, or did I like use this up? Oh, fascinating. Okay, I never inspected a first aid kit before. I'm glad I did. So now I understand that they're not all the same and perhaps get used up. I don't know whether they get used up or it's just like, um, uh, different ones heal different sorts of things. So cool, I got a scepter. That's great. I appreciate it. But now what? I'm looking at the walls and no pixels seem particularly whiter than any of the others in their place. Could I take you in melee combat if I wanted to? Yes. Do you have anything? Only a first aid kit, which... Health Restorable 3, Stamina Restorable 3. First Aid Kit makes you feel better. Health Restorable 1, Stamina Restorable 3. Okay, now I understand. So they get used up. Got it. I should have thought of that long, long ago. <laughs> I didn't. Oh, and now I see the pixel. Was that there before I killed the Medusa? I'm going to do this. I'm going to save slot 3, load slot 4. Yes, it was. I just didn't see it. Okay. Uh, all right, great. Hi there, what are you? Oh, it's Zalas! She's alive! Her face twisted with despair. Well, I found her. Zalas, I found you. Dully, not regarding you. What do you want with me now? Why do you continue to torture me? Tell Nockhurth do that I will not betray the city I love. 
You mistake me, madam. I am not a friend of that chaotic being. Who are you? She looks at you for the first time. Ah, then you must be his enemy, Odysseus. What brings you to that conclusion? The demons who have materialized in this cave from the chaotic influence and who serve Nakhurthu speak of you with fear and hatred as if you were a danger aimed at their collective hearts. I overhear them in their conversations. They say that only you threaten the dark pool of chaos called Na 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 Nakhurthu that exists somewhere in this dungeon, the dark pool from which flows their blood and life. I thought Zalus was a little girl. This is a grown woman. Is there like some time distortion going on or did I just misunderstand? But who are you? How did you come to be down here? I am Zalus, daughter of Theocritus, the Athenian merchant. He's a merchant? Oh, he's never sold me anything. I was captured from Athenia one night by a winged demon and brought, was brought down here to serve Nakhurthu. The corrupting influence of chaos here is strong. If you stay in it too long, it infects your mind and body, and eventually you will come to look like one of the Medusas or Minotaurs, a creature of lust and passions, striking randomly and enragedly as at everything that comes within your gaze. Have I been fighting like my fallen fellow townspeople this whole time? Hmm. The forms of life that existed here before Nokhurth do, rats and bats and such, have already metamorphos uh, metamorphosed into monsters. Okay, so that's what I've been fighting. <laughs> Maybe. Yet why did they kidnap you? Wasn't there one single bat in this entire game once in the sewer and never again? <laughs> I think that happened. Nokhurthu's servants seek to undermine Athenia with, uh, from within. They have already tried and failed once with a traitor, George Barth Bartholomew. Boy, she's up to date on current events despite being down here. Well, well, sure, they've all been talking about me and stuff. When the fabric of my reason is sufficiently unbound by chaos, they will return me to the city and I will wreak what havoc I may. Her eyes grow dull. Already the process is beginning. I recite the syllogisms and geometry I learned at school sometimes to stave off the effects of madness lurking around my mental horizon. Yet when I sleep, my dreams are bizarre and horrible. Soon waking will be no different from a dream, and I will betray everything that is right in my delirium. Nakhurthu will subtly direct me, and I will accomplish his ends. But I have slain the beasts which guard the egress, Zalus. You may leave now. You sure about that, Odysseus? The ladder crumbled behind you. Do you know about an egress I don't know about? No, a curse was laid upon me when I was brought here. I may not leave until I hear my name uttered in the way it was by those I love. Only that will break the spell upon me, and return my will to me. Otherwise, I cannot leave. Hear your name uttered in the way it was by those I love. Okay, so Theocritus and Electra are going to help out here somehow. Do I have to bring them down here to her? Your name as it was uttered by those you love. Yes, a nickname. I cannot reveal it, for the curse holds my tongue. But if you find Theocritus, my father, and tell him of my plight, he will tell it to you. Then I could leave with you. My father would be grateful and reward you. Okay, so learn Zalus' nickname from Theocritus. Anything else to say? How can I help you? Is that the correct keyword? Ah, <laughs> I know nothing of that. Ah, how can I help you? Uh, is that the same as gibberish? Yes. Can I ask you about your father? Tell me about your father. Theocritus lives in the northeast corner of town. The house is rich with many gorgeous works of carved stone. What does he do? Before the war, he bought and sold goods for uh, all over the continent. I remember the huge caravans that he would take me to see uh, uh, when I was a little girl. They arrived in Athenia with the raw produce of the countryside and would depart with the finished products of the city. But when the war started, his business halted. When I was kidnapped, he could do nothing. Okay, so that's why he's not currently acting as a merchant. Okay, um, that terminated the conversation. <laughs> she doesn't know her mother. <laughs> All right then, so father is the important one. Okay, so I found Zalus. Neat. What does she look like? Okay, right, I looked at that before. Mm -hmm. Listlessly twisted with despair. I can't currently get out of here in any way that I know. Um... But I will look for an exit, talk to Theocritus, learn her nickname, then say it to her and she'll be able to leave. Oh, hey, check it out. Letter. Hey, Medusa, you're going to kill me, probably. Murderous frenzy. If I wait carefully... Okay, you're not a knife-throwing Medusa. Good. I'm going to wait here and attack. Oh, she's an instant death one. Okay, let's leave her alone, then. We don't need to fight. You stay there. Uh, can I talk to you? Yes. She speaks in a low, hissing, sibilant 
Whisper, that's a new word for me. What do you want? I know nothing of that. Okay, well, so I can talk to her. Despite being in a murderous frenzy, seems much more human to you than the others you have fought. Yeah, okay, so her process is not finished. Okay, so cool. I found this place. That is two out of three unfinished businesses finished. Great. And I learned how to use a first aid kit too. Right. Um, can I can I finish any of this? There's one with one bite left, right? There's 13, 9, never mind. 20, 20, 20. So uh, 9. Nope. I got a coin. I should sell it. Uh, no, it's the wrong time of day. Theocritus, are you still up? We need to talk about your daughter. Can I just barge into your house? I don't think you lock the door. Mm -hmm. I know you're in bed, but we need to speak. I have important business. Hello, Theocritus. Uh, Odysseus, you come to me in a time of great sorrow. Perhaps your sorrow will be lightened by what I have to tell you. I have found your daughter. Alive. Alive? Where? How is this possible? Where is she? How is she? She is a prisoner of the Chaos Master's minions in a dungeon deep below the city. I offered to help her escape, but she cannot. Apparently she is under a curse of some kind, so she cannot leave until, uh, until she hears her name as it was spoken by those she loves. Those are her words to me, sir. I can't think of what it would, could mean unless... I have it. Pearl. When she was a child, we used to call her Pearl. Maybe that would break the curse. Perhaps so. I will go back down and see if it ends the spell. Odysseus, if you, uh, if you can do this, I will owe you a debt I can never repay. I know you don't do this for thoughts of mere gain, but if you bring her back, all the wealth I command will be at your disposal. That will not be necessary, Theocritus. I do it merely because it is right. Good day. Good day, Odysseus. Good luck. Anything Electra has to say? Uh, I have found her. You tell Electra about your meeting with Zalus. Uh, oh, my poor daughter, Odysseus, you must talk to Theocritus. He will tell you that we can never stop loving her. Then you can bring our daughter home to us again. I will do what I can. All right. Uh, so it'll probably be sunrise by the time I'll close your door behind you. No need to leave that open. <laughs> uh, sure. So Pearl is the key word. And I mean, she's right there. So this should just take a brief little moment, right? My health is good. Um, there's a Medusa I can talk to here. That seems important. I don't know what to say to her yet. Uh, let's see what happens when I do this. Pearl. A slow look of dawning comprehension comes over her face. Pearl, she breathes. I remember now. I remember who I was. The spell is broken? Yes, but I cannot go yet. Odysseus, will you please do me a favor? Uh, if I can? Go to the Medusa and the Triton and ask them if they wish to escape with me. They were humans too once, who were captured from Athenia and were forgotten in the general chaos of death and disorder. Ask them if they wish to return with me. For having lost much of their reason, they could not find the way without a guide. But now you are here to help them. Why were they kidnapped? Who knows? Nakhurthu's servant, uh, servants delight in simply creating chaos for its own sake. But please, ask them for me if they wish to go. Very well. Um, Odysseus, will you know how to do that, or am I going to have to figure out the right keywords? Return, escape. Um, what do you want? Return. I know nothing of that. Escape. Medusa. What is it? I am helping Zalus escape. Come with us, and you will escape Nakhurthu's cruelty. Nay, I cannot. Look at me, man. Look at me. Knowing the danger of the Medusa's glass, uh, glance, you avoid her eyes. How can I go into the city like this? A monster, that danger to everyone I know. How can I live, knowing every day that with one careless glance I could end the life of some uh, of a someone I love? <laughs> you could blindfold yourself. Bah, that does not work. My eyes send out rays of death and agony which nothing can impede. You must leave me here. Better I die than be the cause of death of someone I love. I will tell Zalus of your wish. If I can do anything to help her, let me know. Her. <laughs> I will tell her. Okay. Hi. Have you asked the Medusa and the Triton? 
I have spoken to the Medusa. She is grateful to you, but does not wish to go above. Her glance is dangerous, and in a careless moment she could harm the people above. Yes, I see. That is terrible. But what about the Triton? I have not spoken to them both yet. Okay. So find Triton down here. Somewhere. Uh, okay. Wow. This is... I like this. Things are happening. You're a Minotaur. Um, can I speak to you, though? Uh... Human intelligence, fanatical glare, probably not... Oh! You puny man, why do you come to me? What is your story, Minotaur? I was once a man, but now I am more. I am an arm of the Dark Lord. I am a true subsidi subsidiary of his infinite power. You, you too would do well to surrender your will to he who will rule all. Like an overwhelming wave, you must swim with it or be crushed and lost forever. You will be lost, whether to swim with it or not. Uh, whether you swim with it or not. what Who can survive a tidal wave in that fashion? Your kind will be crushed when he comes. Doubt once and you will perish. You are a fool, but I will leave you to your delusions. Not Kurthu has already placed your mind, I see, beyond the reach of reason. All right. So he would fight me if I tried to come that way. I could probably zip past him. However, there is a man I want to speak to. What's he look like? Grim Triton. Man-like creature swims languidly about in this pool. Murderous frenzy, as always. Hail, Triton. Who is it that comes? Ooh, Triton portraits. I bring news of hope for you, Triton. Zalus, your fellow prisoner, is planning an escape. Will you come? Fool, I am trapped here. I cannot leave the water. It is my life now. Go tell your Zalus that she will go where she likes without me. Very well. All right. Well, we tried. They don't want to come along. All right. So just you. Have you asked the Medusa and the Triton? I've spoken to the Medusa. I see him and the Triton. He will not leave either. He cannot survive outside the water that is his home. But both bid you to leave, Zalus, and to carry their hopes with them. It is time we have gone. Odysseus, you have done me a great favor in carrying out this request of mine, but I must ask you to do one more. Ask the Minotaur if he will come. His mind is much devoured by chaos, but some longing may still be within him to see the light of day and reason. It would be shameful not to give him the opportunity to exercise it. Would you do this? If you wish. Well, I tried already, but I mean, okay, let's try again. Uh, Zealous, your fellow prisoner is planning an escape. If you wish to escape this foul hellhole and the cruelties of your dread master, then come with us now. Based on his attitude before, I'm pretty sure he's going to say no. She rebels against the true power. How is this possible? Sensing danger. She does not rebel. She will return after she escapes with more soldiers for your dread master. You misunderstood me, Minotaur. <laughs> Oh man, he was, uh, that was some quick thinking. I don't know if it was effective though. Liar. Oh, massive Minotaur becomes Zalus's enemy. Oh, hey, I got to defend her. Liar. I understood you well enough. She will die. None rebel against the monster. Such are aberrations on the face of the universe. They must be destroyed. Your master will be angry. Do not lie to me anymore, human, lest you tempt my wrath for you as well. She has sinned against the true power. She must die. Um, I'll talk to her first. He's trying to kill her. Can we, like, run super fast? Zalus. What? The Minotaur is enraged. We must flee now or he will kill you. I am too weak to run, Odysseus. Chaos has eaten away the muscles of my legs. You must go to the Medusa or the Triton and ask her aid. Only they can defeat the Minotaur. I will try. And distantly, perhaps it is really time for me to die. Okay, Minotaurs can be slow. Um, Medusa, come here quick. Quick, quick, quick. Got an emergency going on. Hey, you. Help. What do you want now? The Minotaur has become enraged, Medusa. Even now he attacks our friend Zalus. Please, if you value her life at all, come and help me defend her. Medusa becomes your companion. Take me to him. T uh, talk to me when, I, when you see him, if you wish me to attack. I will be your servant in this matter. Thank you, Medusa. Um, okay, she moving fast. Minotaur is moving slow. Good. Okay, um, he's never gonna listen to reason. Greetings unregarded. Medusa! Massive Minotaur's enemy. I see him, Odysseus. He is enraged, as you said. I will help defend our friend. Thank you, Medusa. I'd like the Triton's help as well. I'm afraid Medusa's gonna... Oh. Medusa glares at the Massive Minotaur. Massive Minotaur is stunned and dies. Okay. Well... That worked. Very effective. Oh, hi. You still my companion? Goodbye, Medusa. 
Goodbye, Odysseus. Escape now with Zalus. My hopes go with you both. Medusa leaves your company. Wow. <laughs> Triton couldn't have left the water. He might have been able to, like, angle a spear if the Minotaur was in the perfect place, but that would be riskier. Medusa has the death gaze, so that was great. Cavern key, encrusted with dirt and rust. Not equipable. Okay, so uh, Zalus, you are still my immediate concern. There's exploring to do down there, but Zalus, um, do I have to like carry you out? Your muscles have atrophied, but it's it's just a short ladder climb. Zalus, what? The Minotaur. What of him? As you suggested, I enlisted the aid of, Med of the Medusa. He is dead now, but the time has come for us to flee. Ask Zalus to join you. Yes. Uh, Zalus becomes your companion. I will come with you. Take me to my father, Odysseus. You know the way. Yes, let us go. Okay. So companions are a thing now. She have anything else to say? Zalus, please bring me to my father, Odysseus. All right. Medusa's still there. Okay. Theocritus, Electra, got your daughter here. She's, she's weakened. Can't move very fast. I'll wait up for her for a bit. Let's go in here. This is your home. Theocritus, brought your daughter. Theocritus, Odysseus, be always welcome here. Okay. Zalus, father. Zalus, they embrace. At last you are back with me again. They have some long arms to do it from there. <laughs> oh, there we go. Um, father, this is Odysseus. As you know, without him, I would still be a slave of chaos. Thank you, Odysseus. You have done me a great service, one I can never fully repay. Feel no need to do so, Theocritus. I merely did what was right, as any man would. Uh, you gain a scepter of lordly might. Zalus is gone. <laughs> uh, you are not just any man, Odysseus. You are a hero, and I anticipate the bards will sing of you in legend. One thing they will not sing is that Theocritus ignored his debts. Take this, Odysseus, as a token of my gratitude. If you spurn it, you dishonor me. Whoa. I will not spurn it. I am grateful to you, Theocritus. If the bards sing of this adventure of mine, one thing they will not fail to mention is the kingliness of your gratitude. For the service you have done for me, it is not even adequate, Odysseus. Come visit us again. Goodbye, Zalus. Goodbye, Odysseus. Please come and visit us again. Of course I will. All right. Uh, Electra, you're here too. Hello, Electra. Hello, Odysseus, she says gently. Thank you for bringing our daughter back again. I'm glad I was able to assuage your grief. You assuaged it and turned it to the most radiant of happiness. We owe you a debt we can never repay. Okay. Neat. So, uh, another... Uh, right. <laughs> these these two were overlapping. I saw the two handles. It looked like I had two somehow. But just the one. All right, great. Uh, use. Excellent. Good stuff. And not only did you reward me nicely, but you also... Um, Zalus, anything else to say? Odysseus, I have been rummaging through my father's library, and I think I have found something that could be helpful on your quest. What is it? An old manuscript. I cannot read it, but maybe you could get a wise man to do so. Someone like the seer. It was enfolded in an old book about strange extra-dimensional beings. That is why I think it might be useful. Thank you, Zalus. Okay. Well, cool. Not only that stuff, but also uh, this. Perfect manuscript, some foreign tongue, not equipable. Try as you might, you can make no sense of the manuscript's contents. Perhaps someone in the city could help you. Okay, so this is just like, hey, you remember back a million years ago when you were stuck up here, didn't know how to get to the sewer, and talking to all the townsfolk? You remember their names? You remember their personalities? You've probably just been coming up here to interact with Mr. Jones every once in a while, and have forgotten about everybody else. Let's give you a refresher. That's my interpretation of what's happening here. Uh, game three, rest for a bit. Hey you, seer. What can I do for you, Odysseus? Do you know any foreign languages, seer? Many, Odysseus. Uh, give the manuscript, yes. Uh, you gain a scroll. Oh, I give up a manuscript, I gain a scroll. I wonder if I'd see different dialogue if I said no. Don't care. <laughs> I have discovered a foreign manuscript. Can you read it? 
Ah, yes, this is an ancient dialect of the Dorian philosophers. As he reads it slowly, he scribbles a translation on another parchment. It looks like an old philosophical text. Not much good to you, though it does mention chaos. Here, there's not much to it, but there it is. Reading the seer's translation. The destruction of chaos lies in the ideal. Hmm. If there is a power to that word, perhaps it will help you, Odysseus. The ideal. Perhaps it may. Does this say anything more? What is order but the perfect arrangement of disparate elements into a preconceived pattern? Thus the key to the destruction of chaos lies in the ideal. Well, those words don't mean much to me yet. So I've gained a key. Let me go ahead and sell this coin while I'm here. Um, sure, trade. Uh, you have this. Oh, you have this. Sure. Okay. Um, so how many uses? Ah, 10 and 10 costs 30. So now I understand the value of those. I have 145 gold. I'll save it for other stuff just in case. It is nice that I can get back out of here now. Um, but even so, I don't feel like I need to turn back or get any new supplies or anything. Um, I'm in pretty good shape here, really. And I'm level 10 now, so I can carry all my stuff. Okay, great. Awesome. We saved Zalus. Um, I have a key that I don't know. Okay, well, let's just check since this is quick. Just so that I know for sure that it's not the key that opens this one spot down here. Because I would like to know about it if it is. It's funny how the scepters of lordly might tend to come like all at once. You get a whole bunch at a time. And then for the longest time you don't get any. Like it would be funny if this also opened that, which it didn't. Okay, it's a cavern key, of course. It's not a tomb key. Um... Anyway, yeah, uh, so yeah, would have been funny if I had gotten yet another and be up to level 11 for the next whatever's going on. Okay, cool, great. All right, so we're definitely in the end game here. Not much left to do, uh, but some major final puzzle. I need to understand what the word ideal means, apparently. I mean, I, I know what the word means, but um, how to apply it to defeating Nakhurthu. And yeah, what's that even going to be like? What form does a fight against a being of pure chaos even take? Well, I guess we'll find out. All right, I'll see you next time.